Gina. Welcome back. Uh, I've got two journals I've just completed. I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, this is Woodland and this is Back to Nature. I know they're very similar, so um, there's a few differences, but they are basically the same. But I'll go through um, the Woodland first and then we'll come back to this one so that way you can see that there are a few di differences in them. So, this is created from a um, 9 by 12 envelope, and then I've done the faux leather, so it's got a real uh, rustic feel to it. Um, the kit I've used in this is uh, Tracy Fox, and I've done other various things. It's a mix. I've got some of the Miss Cogs. I've got some Seneca, Seneca Pond in here. Um, so it, it's quite a mix, but the majority of it is Tracy Fox. So the cover, I've just collaged this. This is uh, some stamping on um, muslin, and then it's been backed um, onto some cardstock. And then, as you can see, there's quite a bit of stitching going on. And then I've I've reinforced the spine. So that's the front and the back. Um, seam binding closure, and then going inside, I've, I've just got um, some stitching around the pockets. Um, it's just, I'm really pleased with it. Um, this one I've done a little little bitty notebook out of this seed packlet, packet. Sorry, These um, come in Tracy's kit, and I think they're just precious. Um, so that is just like a little extra journaling notebook there. Um, this is one of her postcards. Um, this is an old, oh, sorry, let me get that back. You know it bugs me if I don't get everything back the way it was. <laughs> um, this is one of her little um, tea cards. And then this is just a um, vintage playing card. So this is um, her paper collection, which is very, very pretty. Love that. Here I've just done a little um, tuck spot with some trim, lots of stitching around it. This is uh, an old um, nature book that I've backed it with some uh, coffee dyed paper and stitched. And then this is just a Tim Holtz journaling tag, so that's included. Edith Holden Page. Gotta have Edith. Here I've just doubled this up and made another little tuck spot here. And then I've, this is... Um, just another little journaling card. This is from Tracy's kit. Uh, I believe this is Miss Cog image. <clears throat> so those have been tucked in. I got a dilly lee. Um, everything's tea dyed. <clears throat> Here I've done one of my <clears throat> excuse me. The floating pocket that I did a tutorial on. This is in here, but I have glued it down, so it's it's gonna be permanent in this one. Um, now the Back to Nature Journal does not have one of these, so that, that is, I think, the only big difference. This is one of the sheet music um, big pockets I've put in. <clears throat> More of the um, paper from the collection. Here's another little tuck spot. This has been backed onto a, a journaling um, gardening page. Some parchment that I've tea dyed. This idea, I... Um, <clears throat> Pinch this from Carolyn Laws. If you guys watch her, she's fantastic. She's one of my um, favorites to get inspiration from, so thank you, Carol. Um, she had this in a recent journal she created, and I loved it. So this is Miss Cog, and then I did some more stamping onto here and did a, a handmade envelope, and that's just been secured into the journal. Here's another little tuck spot. This is a coin envelope, so you can put some items in there. Did some stamping, collaging with another of the tea cards. And in this pocket, I've got an old um, book page from the nature book I've got. And then these are just various things from the kits I've gotten off of um, Tracy. Love that. Beautiful. Um, 
this I have to thank Miss Laura I won her um, giveaway so this just came in the mail a couple days thank you Laura I really appreciate that she let me choose some items from her shop and this this is one of them I picked up from her so appreciate that so much Laura she is so so sweet here I've, I've just stitched another little uh, book page with it so it flips out you've got extra space there to write and then this is the center of the signature. I love these images. Beautiful, beautiful kit. Here I've just made a little book page pocket. Did some collaging with some more of the little, I love these little tea cards. I've got flowers and the butterfly ones. Um, and then these are just various things from um, Tracy's shop. I love this little envelope. That's so sweet. So you can do some more journaling or glue that together. Uh, here we've got a um, couple little pockets here. This is just a little tuck spot there. This is another one of the tags from the kit and another little journaling card, another seed packet. And then these are just a couple little uh, hand stamped. Um, this is another tag I got from uh, the Papered Souls. So this is this is in Laura's shop too. Those are so sweet. So I've stamped on those. Here I just did a little uh, fabric tip in. And then this one I've just attached with a hinge, um, a nature page. And then on this side, this is one of uh, Tracy's um, forget what she calls this, but this is one of her little file folder kits that you get. And you get all the pockets and things to do. It's just so sweet. So I made a little notepad, and this is a little pocket. You could put something in there. Just some various pages so you have extra writing. Okay, so um, yeah, this is just a little notebook, and then there's some um, some various journaling tags here, <clears throat> and another a little envelope. <clears throat> so that I've just clipped that in. more of the journaling paper or sorry uh, page from the kit um, here I've just done a little pocket out of a book page and this is a um, decoupage playing card and I've backed that with some uh, a tea dyed paper uh, here I've got the other part of the um, music sheet pocket and this is a little glassine bag. I did some um, stamping on some muslin, and then I did a little collage tag here. And uh, there's another little piece of fabric that I've stamped on, and then I stitched around. I uh, got that idea from the um, Somerset Studio. The um, had had that in one of the issues. I can't remember what issue it was, but I thought that was fun. So I did. A, I worked on those the other night and got a few of those made. So that's been clipped in there. <clears throat> Here I've got um, another uh, little tuck spot. This is um, like a flowering flashcard type thing I found the other day. So I've stuck one of those in there. And this one I've got a little um, handmade tag. And then this one is an Edith Holden tag that I've made. And then another um, of those vintage cards. And another of the little tea cards from Tracy's kit. This is the back of the journal. So that was the... Um, Woodland Journal, and I'm going to now do a quick flip through of the um, 
back to nature one. Like I said, it's it's very similar. There's just a few little differences. So pages are the same. I think we've got uh, 52 pages front and back. Um, here a little pocket I made inside. Um, Another little journaling cards, another of the playing card, and that's, I can't remember who that was from. Um, another of the vintage book pages, and this is one of those little uh, notebooks I made. I just stitched that in. Tucked in there, and then this is one of the little Rolodex cards from the kit. Those are so sweet. Here I did a little collaging. And just to flip out there. This is another of the Edith Holden pages I've um, collaged with some music sheet and stitched that on. This is the book page pocket. This is some more um, handmade tags. Stuck those in. And this is some more of the ephemera from the kit. This is a Miss Cog image here. And then I believe this is a Seneca Pond from a kit uh, that I had from her shop. Here's another little journal tag. And then this is a, another of the collaged um, envelopes. And that's some um, fabric on that one. Here's a little journaling card I made, another little um, handmade tag, and this is a coin envelope. I've just did some stamping and collaging on that. Uh, did some stitching around this little pocket here. These pages are so pretty. Um, here I did a bit of fussy cutting and collaging, and then this is another little journal card, and this is one of the seed packs. That one's just empty. This is the center of the signature. Beautiful. And this is a tag from the kit, another of the seed packs tucked in there. Another little journaling tag, and then uh, one of the mini Rolodex cards. This is a collaged, a fabric collaged uh, snippet pocket, I call those. That's got some old vintage lace on it, and then this is a cutout from some Tim Holtz paper, and this is one of my fabric um, photo cards. Um, here's another one of those, um, it's like a, a gardening flash card or something. And then this is just a tiny little envelope there with some butterflies on that. Like I said, very similar to the other one, just a few little differences um, when I created it, so give you a chance to see them both. Um, lots of writing space in uh, both the journals. And here's another of the um, Tim Holtz fabric, and that's a tip in. And this is another one of those, um, I think she because it's a file folder, I can't remember. Same thing here, that's a notebook inside that and various um, journaling cards. I just tucked that in there. This is a uh, gardening book page and then this is the back of that, um, the other pocket there from the book uh, music sheet. And then this is another one of those little collaged cards. And then I put in another one of the little tea cards as well. But this one I did like a little flip up there. And it's just various um, vintage papers and so on that I've got. I had intended to, um, to try to do a little tutorial on some tea bag art. Um, hopefully I can get around to that next week. I just ran out of time this week. Um, but I've got all my tea bags all dyed, so I'm, I'm intending to do some of those um, 
and I'll do a tutorial next week for you guys to see just various bits and bobs on ephemera so you've got a lot of space for writing things and this is the back of the journal and here I've got a tag, another of the seed packets and then another playing card and those have just been tucked in there and that's the back of that journal and I don't know if I showed you guys yet, it's got the the vintage crocheted trim there on the side and then it's all been hand stamped and, and stitched and layered so there you go those are my two journals to share with you guys today um, if you're interested in these I've got the link below where you can purchase them from my um, Etsy shop I just want to say with with the postal system being delayed please um, Consider that if, if you are thinking about purchasing these because I can't be held responsible if um, for delays with the postal or customs. Um, I'll do everything I can and I, and I always post my things the following day so they'll get out but you know what happens after that um, it's really it's down to how quickly things are moving, moving through the post and I know that they are very slow right now with the holiday rush so Please keep that in mind, guys, and um, I hope everybody's having a good week, and I'll see you guys back very soon. Take care. Bye.